Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing tonight? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm finally got into my craft room today. It's like 9.30 at night. <laughs> but I had to come in here and do something. So uh, I was going to give you an update on the, uh, the Tsunami Rose Traveler's Notebook Journals and uh, show you what I came up with for another page. So let me just update because um, first, because I'm doing them all this, pretty much the same, although they have different, you know, patterned pages from Tsunami Rose because there was just so many pages. I decided to make three. That's what, when I divided them up, I said, well, that would be three journals, you know, <clears throat> for that many pages. So anyway, let me just show you. Let's see, what have I done? Uh, this is a page that I writ dyed. I, I kind of... Yeah, I writ dyed this with some burgundy writ dye, and this is a composition book page, okay? So it's going to be opening up like this and folding in as a page, so like it looks like this in the journal. So what I did to this was <clears throat> I added a little ticket from the kit and a little flip up here that I just washi taped on so that can actually be moved around. It's just got a piece of washi tape right that there. And there were some little, pretty little pieces that I cut from, just I think this was from a page or, it, I don't think it's from the ephemera. I haven't started working with the ephemera really yet, except for like that. If this was from the ephemera, it's definitely from the kit though. It is so pretty. It looked uh, nice on this, you know, background here. And then here is one of the, let's see, this is one of the tissue paper, you know, pattern sewing pattern tissue paper pages. This is how it came out. I think it's got a really neat feel and texture to it. And then you can put anything you want on here uh, as far as gluing on here or whatever you want to do, you know, R glue a writing space, glue a picture and use this as a background. I just think it came out really neat and kind of like grungy and distressed and just really pretty <laughs> vintage looking. And it's sewn around. I guess you, I decided to sew around these. These are all zigzag stitched around. I don't think I showed you that yet. So those are all sewn around. And there's two of those in each journal so far. Unless I change my mind and take some, one out. But so far there's two in there. This is the pay, pocket page I made that's sewn together here and here. With This is the pay, you know half from the kit. And this half is black cardstock. And I just picked that because if. You saw my last videos, I mentioned that I thought Daisy's colors, her beautiful bright colors would look pretty on this black background. So this is looks like this in the journal and it will, there will be two nice big pockets here. And then I wanted to use cardstock for strengthening this pocket. So that's why you picked that black. Besides picking the black and picking cardstock for extra strength. Here's the other sewing pattern tissue page in here. Can see the sewing I think that those came out really nice uh, this is a page where I added on in all the journals uh, some coffee dyed paper and this is a pocket from the this one has a pocket from the kit that I put right here and this is another piece that I just cut out kind of like a little bit of fussy not too fussy but a little fussiness here where I fussy cut it out and that is also a pocket right there. And that's backed with cardstock for strength to, you know, be reaching in and out there. So that. And then, let's see, what else? I did a little flip up, flip down on a page here. This is, this is all ideas to decorate when you have, you know, you printed out a kit. And you have printed it one-sided. What do you do with the other side? Do you leave it blank or... You know, like me, I don't necessarily like blank pages unless maybe they're coffee dyed or spritzed with color. But whether what other options do you have? So here I put a flip up, flip down, just a piece from the kit, and also here's a little, you know, corner tuck. It tucks there and it opens up here as a little flip up on the corner there. So that goes right here. I think I took it out right there. And let's see, I have two more pages. This one I just did a pocket on. You know, cut a piece. 
This is actually, um, you know, I told you I printed out extra pages by mistake on regular copy paper. So I've been trying to use that too. I don't want it to go to waste and I don't want it sitting around in my craft room. So I've been trying to use it. So I folded over a piece of that so I would have double paper. Might even, I think it's just double. I don't think it's, I tripled it, but I at least doubled it over to add extra strength to, so it wouldn't be a single layer of paper here. So it really does feel stronger with that double layer of paper. And then I actually also sewed here and, you know, sewed it onto the page. So I did that in all the journals. Let's see, I showed you the flip up. And then this is what I'm gonna show you today. On this page so far, right here on this side, on this one, I have a belly band, which I have glued on. And so, like, let me find something so I can show you. See, it has a space behind, it's a belly band, right here. And then uh, what I did was put like an, I'm calling it, I'm gonna call it an envelope on top on top of the belly band. But, you see, here's, here's, the, here's the tricky part. So it's a belly band and then it folds open like this. So you have all the space you can write in here. Okay, so you didn't waste a writing page by putting a belly band on it because you still have all of this. See, here's the belly band right here. And this is a double layer of paper too because I ended up, I used a strip of paper and then I cut this piece of paper out and I glued it on top, folded it in half. So you have that space for writing. And then I put another piece of paper here that opens up into and I my my first thought was to make that an envelope so it would be like you know here's an envelope but then I thought well you know look at all that writing space so I thought well maybe I'll leave it as an option to whoever gets these journals uh, you can glue the sides down here and have yourself a little cool little envelope right there on your belly band or leave it open <clears throat> for journaling so here's how what it looks like so far. I haven't done anything on this side yet, but you can open here and then you can open here and then you have your space back here. So I was going to make one with you today just so if that's like totally confusing. <laughs> I was just uh, sitting here the other night and figuring it out. So <clears throat> I thought, let me leave it open so I can remember what I did here. So here's the other one. I did all the same things in here. So I've done two, and then I have to do the belly band in this one. So I have a page here where the belly band will go on. And then, so first of all, what I need to do is get my paper cutter up here. Here's all my scraps from the kit so far that I haven't used. So first of all, I noticed that I need to start, you know, since I have quite a few pages in here now, I need to start watching my page width and make sure as I'm putting them in, say, I'm gonna put this one right here. Oh, this one already has one. Wait a minute, I've got it mixed up. This must be the one that doesn't have one. Yeah, this one doesn't have one. Okay, let's put one in the right one. Not that I can't figure that out later. Okay, yeah, this one needs one. Here's the one in this one. Let me show you, I just put it on this side of the page instead. But here it is, uh-oh. <laughs> trying to be glued together but yeah it opens up like that there's the envelope part here is the belly band part oh this one's trying to get glued together <laughs> you naughty piece of paper there we go <laughs> it was just on the corner right there and it didn't rip or anything but yeah there's the opening and here's the belly band back here so yeah it just goes like that goes like that goes like that and goes like that <laughs> kind of fun I thought and pretty with using the paper from the kit, right? So those two are done. Here's the page we're going to add, and hopefully I will be able to uh, get this done rather quickly, so you don't take too much time. But this page is going to go probably right here. So what I need to do is make sure. See how it's sticking out here? So I've already measured this and make sure this was right and would fit in there and not be protruding too far. So see how much this is protruding up on the width and the length. So I need to get that straight before I even start my belly band because I'm going to center my belly band on this page and I need it to be the right 
length so that when I'm done with my belly band, I don't have a page that's not going to fit in my journal with my belly band on there, and then I'll be like in a pickle. <laughs> I'll be in a pickle for sure. See, now it fits in there. Okay, so I'm good to go on the page dimensions. And so next I'm going to, and I'm going to be referring to my belly bands that I already made because I kind of just developed these the other night. I didn't watch anyone else do it and I don't know if it's been done before. It probably has, but I just fit, kind of like was fooling around with this trying to figure it out. So, okay, what I did was <clears throat> get my base, which is a strip of paper, and then I glued on another wider strip. So, for my original strip, I can use this. So, to start out, I have to measure this and make sure. See, that's why you got to get your page first. And then now I'm going to make sure this is the right length. See, I've got to cut this off. So, let me just see. It can go right up to the top and right down to the bottom. That's how I've been making these. So let's just make a little fold here. We need to cut that off and get that straight. Okay, so there we have our first piece. All right, so this is really, this was a, the paper that I printed out that was extra, so I'm just using it up. It doesn't matter really what side I, it's gonna to be totally covered up, so it doesn't really matter which side I glue down. Not gluing it down yet, yet though, just using this for my measurements. Okay, so next I need another piece of paper, and I don't have one, a scrap that's big enough, so I'm grabbing one of the other papers that is the paper I'm trying to use up that I printed out by mistake. So I'm going to measure it by putting it down on my belly band. Okay, I'm gonna fold. This is gonna to totally cover my belly, my belly band. Okay, it's gonna to totally cover my belly band. So I want to get this square too. Okay, so it's going to go like that. So let's just make sure that I didn't make it too narrow. Yes, it looks good. So now I'm going to cut right here. <clears throat> and we'll have our first piece that we need. Okay. And uh, I'm not really giving you dimensions because you can make this custom fit any journal you're making so it doesn't matter what the dimensions are you just look at the instructions that I'm giving you and make it this way but make it with your dimensions for your journal you know what I mean if it's small if it's huge whatever <laughs> as long as your paper is uh, big enough you can you can cut it down or use use bigger paper whatever you need okay so this is going to be glued on here like this and so I think it was too long. We need to cut it off, I'm sure. Yes, see, it's a little bit too long. So I'm going to use my kind of belly band for a template and just cut the bottom off here. And all of these papers um, that I'm using are so pretty, you know, from the kit that I can just use them any which way and they're just going to be pretty no matter how I put them down, you know what I mean? So this is my base, and this is going to be glued on here. Let me make sure. I don't want to do this wrong. Yep, yep. Okay, so we're going to glue. go ahead and glue this down. I've, got, I've been using art glitter glue for this. Go ahead and glue this down, because this is our first uh, journaling spot that I showed you, where you open it up, and there you are. I have all that journaling room. I'm going to go ahead and put my glue here. Not too much. I don't want to wrinkle my paper or anything, but I want this nice and glued down as a solid piece so that it's strong. Yeah, I thought this was really fun, and mm, I, you know, am trying to think of things that people mentioned in the giveaway that they would like to see ideas on. So I am trying to, you know, come back with to you with some of those ideas you know and it's really fun trying to you know <laughs> kind of uh, think you know think trying to think outside the box a little bit so 
Okay, this is going to be glued down flat on the page. This is the first opening, and there you go. So it all looks good. I want to make sure it looks good in here because this is the part you're going to see. There's a little strip I need to kind of cut off, and I probably can't even get that with my paper cutter. I'm going to get that with my scissors. So when you open it up, it looks nice for writing. And I'm going to make sure this is all nice and glued down. Okay, so the next piece is the envelope. See, it's really easy. I don't know if it was confusing when I showed it to you, but it's actually really easy. So now I'm going to get my little page over here and kind of measure the width by this right here because this is the little envelope piece. And I actually have to get another, see this is really using up my paper too that I wanted to use up. I have to get another piece because this is pretty wide. This is like a half a page. So I'm going to measure with this. And you can see how wide it is. Okay, I'm going to fold here because that's what i got to cut off. Okay, let me put that back into the journal it goes into. And I'm going to cut this piece off right here. Okay, and then all you do is, I'm going to measure the length now too. Uh, it's about right, about right there. Wait a minute, it's moved. Hold it, hold on. <laughs> it moved a little bit. Okay, about right there. I'm going to cut that. Okay. Kind of made my fold in a weird place, didn't I? I want this to be right because this is, this piece is going on top, you know. So this has got to be right, and it's got to, and I want it to be pretty. And okay, there we go. I don't know why I did that that way. My fold, I like my fold over here, so I can line it up with my cutting line here. So there we go. That should be right. And so then all I did because this is also writing space. So make sure everything, okay, so you're glue, I'm gluing this down, so I want that. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. This is opening, okay? So this is, and this is upright, but this is gonna be covered up. This is a piece that you wanna make sure which way you want it to go. It doesn't matter really if it's upside side down uh, on this kind of paper because it's so pretty either way, it really wouldn't matter. And it's going sideways in the journal, so kinda of doesn't really matter, but I guess I'll go ahead and keep it upright. So I'm going to measure by, see this piece is gonna be glued down on here. Let's see, I'm gonna put it this way. See the edge here, I'm gonna put this edge on this edge. See, it opens like this. Here's the belly band back here. It's gonna open like this, so I want this edge, because I want my, I'll show you. And I gotta make sure I'm doing it right too, actually. Uh, let me look at my little piece here. Let me get this closer so I can look at it. So my envelope is on this one. Well, let me look at the other one because that's on the opposite page. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Okay, so I am, yes, okay, it has to be kind of in the middle. So I want to fold this up enough to, see this is going to be where our flap is up here opening this way. This is going to be where our flap is. So I want to get it on here and kind of measure where my envelope or potential envelope is going to have its bottom piece. So I'm folding that bottom piece and so this is going to be glued down on here. This is my bottom of my envelope. This is my flap. So now I'm going to fold my flap and just make it even with the top here of my belly band. Just get everything square so you're folding it correctly. And I'm talking to myself here too. <laughs> get it square, Sherry. Okay. And I just want to see now my flap look is looking like it's going to be too big, so I'm going to I'm going to cut, I'm going to trim it a little bit. But isn't it pretty with this paper? Okay, so I just want to see. It's going to be glued down like this, so it looks pretty. But my, and you're going to open it up when it's an envelope, and you have a little space here. If it was actually going to be an envelope later, you want a little space there. 
uh, to get in and out of it. Let's see, this one I left a little bit more space. So what I can do is, to make it an easy solution would be just to cut off a little strip of this right here. I'm gonna cut off a little strip of that because I, I would like that little opening in case it does become an envelope later to be a little bit more. So here we go. See, now it looks better, a little bit more space there in case it just turns into an envelope. You wanna be able to get in and out of it. But now my, see my flap still folds over plenty far, but my, I feel like my flap is still too long. I, I don't really, see I like this one, how it looks more like an envelope with the flap a little shorter. So I'm gonna just cut a little strip off of here, off the flap, not too much right now. We'll see if we need to cut off any more, but I think this is gonna be good. Okay, so it's going to be kind of be like this. We're going to glue it down. There's our bottom piece, and there's our flap. And let me see how far it folds over. I think I'm going to cut another little sliver off of here. And it seems like it's a little crooked, even though I'm holding it flat against the top. So let me just hold it real tight against the top and see if it gets straighter. <laughs> okay, I think this is going to be better. I think I'm going to like it now. Okay, so you just kind of have to play with it like that. Get it how you like it or how you want it. Okay, yeah, I like that now. Look, see how it's starting to look like an envelope? And then I rounded my corners here to also make this look like the flap of an envelope. I fully intended to make it into envelopes, but I decided to give, the, you know, like I said, I think it would be fun to have that option. So there you go. And now we're just going to put some glue on here. Glue this down, and we'll have our belly band. And I was thinking, like, when I was making these, I was trying to figure out do I want to sew these in or do I want to glue them in but with all this flippy flappy you know type of stuff I decided to glue them on because I just figured I probably would mess it up if I tried to sew it in right <laughs> so it's much easier just to glue this down and if you use some strong glue like art glitter glue it will be fine so here we are we're just going to glue this middle piece like I said onto the belly band here Gonna get it even at the top, even at the bottom. Let's see now. Let me do it from this side because I feel like it's not going into the right place. Where's my glue right there? See, so make sure everything's right. Okay, yep, the flaps in the the, the opening is in the right place. If you glue it backwards, you just have to put it on the other opposite side of the page, probably. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I think that's how it would probably work. Okay. So, there we go. Get all your edges down good here. I believe this is going to turn out nice. Okay, so get our flap going. So, now we're going to glue this onto the page. Okay, so see how it's forming? We have our belly band, the opening there, where you drilling space, and then close it, there you have your envelope, potential envelope, and or more journaling space, all in one little page and one little belly band. And so let me get this out of the way, and we'll glue it down on our page, and we'll have our next page done, as far as this side anyway. Now at this point, you can be like, Let's make sure this fits on our page. <laughs> is it too long? Not really. I have a little something sticking over here, like a, barely a sliver. So I can decide if I, now, before you glue it down, decide if you want to cut any more. I think my inside piece is, uh, or my something sticking below here. So I won't be cutting off any of my envelope, really. It's just this little sliver is sticking down here. And so that's not going to hurt anything for me to cut that off, right? Okay, so let me get my page upright. See, it was upside down. Okay, now it's upright. <laughs> this is a page from the journal. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here. And I'm using my strong art glitter glue. And I'm going to put a good bit there. You know, and a good bit down here. Just to make sure this stays where I put it, right? Okay, and then put it on our page right in the middle is where this one's going. 
Okay. It looks good. Wish I had my glue board here and glue on my mat. I usually have my protection down here. Okay. Sorry. I'm kind of crazy about that. Getting glue all over the place. Anyway, so, okay, so let's open it up and go, like, you know, inside here where the glue is and make sure that's all nice and flat, at least to start out. I haven't had any trouble with gluing these on, so, and you can see there's, there we have it. There's our belly band for the next journal, and it's right here. I need to put the color side up so you can see it coming through. There's our belly band all the way up and down. Okay. There's our first drawing spot there. And here is our potential envelope. So I'm just going to make my crease a little bit better here. So this can lay down nice and flat and glue and dry. And you can see the envelope. I, I contemplated um, maybe putting a something on to hold the flap down, but... Uh, again, you know, if it's going to be possibly a drilling spot, I'm not going to do that. But, uh, and it does close on its own pretty much. You know, when the journals close, it's going to be like that. And this one's going in here. Here's the journal that needs one. So it will be right here. And everything's fitting in there nicely. I already checked my pages to make sure everything fits. And, you know, <laughs> so... There's what it looks like in the journal. Pretty cool, I think. So I'll be back to you with some more ideas I want to add as pages. And I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching tonight. Happy crafting. And I hope you like that idea and try it out. See you later.